Hello viewers and fellow space travelers, this is Stone of Night and I am here to demonstrate to you a uh, build that I made about uh, half a year ago at this point uh, called a Menger Sponge. And what it is, is uh, you can see some small ones behind me, a representation of a repeated mathematical formula that is applied to a uh, graphical or, or structural object. Uh, it is a, a variety of fractal that uh, you can take the formula and reapply it to a structure that's already had it applied to to make more and more detail. To show you what I mean by that, let me go back in first person here. This is the smallest possible Menger sponge that there is. It is a cube uh, which has had on all six sides the middle one-third removed as well as the middle one-twenty-seventh of the entire block removed leaving a 20 block, uh, I guess basically wireframe uh, that is just the outside of the cube. Now, if you take th this and reapply the formula to it, what would happen is you would take in each one of these blocks here, you c would take the middle one-third out of each side in all, uh, all the directions, as well as the middle section itself, and uh, you would be left with a smaller version of that right there. Unfortunately, you can't do that in Minecraft, so in order to make more iterations, you have to actually make the structure itself bigger. And so this is an iteration two version of the same thing, where the middle third is removed and on all the directions, and then of the remaining 20... Uh, smaller sections, the middle third of each of those is removed in all directions, leaving this. And as far as I know, there is no real world application for this other than just some pretty art, basically. But because it is easily constructed out of cubes and is based around cubes, I decided to tackle the project. It took me about, I don't know, a month and a half to make, maybe. And it used over uh, 3 million blocks to do. I think the number is 3.2 million blocks. That might be exact. 3.2 million blocks in order to make this thing. But to show you what the biggest possible Minger sponge right now in Minecraft that can be built, uh, and I had considered making it out of sponge blocks, but uh, I just didn't like the way it was looking, so I just made it out of stone. So uh, I, I know someone has made a Menger sponge out of sponges, and uh, after having seen the, uh, the, the footage and the pictures and video of it, I decided that uh, I didn't like it, so uh, I went ahead and made it out of stone, which was easier on my eyes. But this thing is so absolutely massive that it, as I get closer to it and more of it loads, you will probably be able to see uh, in the recording, you'll probably be able to see my computer starting to lag out. And I've got uh, 16 gigs of RAM, it's a 8-core computer, and uh, it is designed for gaming. However, uh, because of how Minecraft interacts with Java, it just doesn't like this much going on. I'm going to try to get in here and load as much as I possibly can so that I can fly through it better. Turn off the rain there. There we go. This is a level 5 or iteration 5 Menger sponge. 
What that means is the entire cube, which is 243 on a side, has had the middle 81 blocks removed all the way through from each side, as well as the 81 cube in the middle. And then each of the remaining sections has had 27 removed, which I'm flying through now. And then each of those remaining sections has had the middle nine removed, and then the middle three, and then finally the middle one, leaving stacks and stacks and stacks of that smaller first iteration one that I showed you before. Um, like I said, there really, as far as I know, is not any sort of application for this in mathematics other than just to demonstrate fractals and iterations and, and uh, repeated formula. Uh, there is something similar to it made out of pyramids, which is harder to replicate, but I'm going to probably give it a try, uh, called a Sierpinski gasket that is based on something called Pascal's triangle, and that actually does have an application in algebra for uh, doing quadratic formulas, but uh, it's very specifically situational based. I'm going to fly through here. But yeah, this is uh, something that I put a lot of time into, and I figured that I'd just go ahead and make a video demonstrating it. Uh, the download for it is going to be uh, in the description below, so if you want this map to explore, go ahead and download that. Um, if you have any suggestions or questions or comments, leave those in the comment section and I'll do my best to respond to them. Uh, oh, there we go. There's some lag. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like and go ahead and subscribe because I've got a lot of stuff coming. I'm just getting started on putting some stuff up on YouTube. As of right now, I have... A uh, few videos up demonstrating a Wolfenstein map for Minecraft. Basically, it's a game within a game. Um, and uh, I have plans for some, I, I guess, Let's Plays. Uh, not just for Minecraft, but lots of other games. So uh, go ahead and keep an eye out for those in the future. But uh, before I drag this video on too much farther. I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here. Thanks again for watching and I will talk to you later.